Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're continuing our ongoing look into the Unity Fantasy Games and Game Dev Assets bundle going on over at Humble. It is an amazing deal and today we are looking at one of the most requested items and that is RPG Builder. And RPG Builder is massive. Now this is about a gigabyte in size. It is a collection of scripts, tools, and resources for creating RPG or role-playing style games using the Unity game engine. And one thing you may notice is the Unity Fantasy bundle costs $25 US for everything, whereas RPG Builder is normally $175. So this one, uh, if you're interested in it, now is the time to buy it. It is an amazing deal. So we're going to jump into it, take a look at what it is all about. Also, by the way, if you're interested in this bundle, I have covered Odin. I'll be covering RPG Builder today, and I covered Node Canvas already. So if you want to see anything more about those, those are ones I've already covered. And I'll be looking at a few more before this bundle is up. By the way, you've got six days remaining as of the time of this video. So the one we are looking at today is RPG Builder, and it is basically, like I said, a framework for building your own RPG games. Um, they've coded almost everything for you, so you don't have to do a heck of a lot of coding. Uh, it is documented. It handles all kinds of features. We'll come back to this in just a minute. Instead, let's go hands-on, and we're actually going to take a look at the demo. So here you can see running the demo that ships with it. We'll go ahead and we'll create a new character. So everything you're seeing here is provided for you. Frameworks for doing things like character creation, main menus, stats, abilities. Um, it's all done in a modular and reusable way. So we'll create a new character here. Uh, we can make a human. Uh, we call him, make him male or female, although the model doesn't change too much. Uh, and we will call this guy Bob Dole, of course. So we give some stats. You can define your own stats, by the way, uh, but we'll give Bob Dole. Bob Dole is very strong uh, and has a lot of energy, but ain't too smart. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I've already created Bob Dole. All right, Bob Dole again. All right, so we'll create our new character, and then we'll load into our game. Here you can see the details of how to control the particular game. Uh, by the way, they do have a very active Discord server. I will have a link to that in the link down below. And you can see typical RPG-style stuff. So you've got the third-person controller available here. Um, you've got a heart bar of abilities down at the bottom. Uh, we've got the ability to walk up to people and engage with them. You see here we've got dialogue trees. I'll, I'll show you the tools for creating that later on. Come on over here. You'll see here we have a variety of different weapons available. And I'll just go ahead and grab them. And then if I go to I, you'll see here I have an inventory. I think it's C for a character. And so you have the uh, you know typical paper doll uh, functionality for uh, arming equipment and so on. Although I do believe I just... Okay. Oh, they respawn. Okay, uh, so that is the kind of stuff you have here. Um, you have over here an implementation of a crafting system. So you can see how uh, crafting works in this world. So you've got quests. Okay, go ahead. Sure, get another quest. There is full questing systems. We'll look at how all those things are implemented in just a sec. You've got uh, crafting options and a crafting system in place. Uh, over here, you've got uh, targets for um, combat. And there you can see how combat works. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, and then there's a lot more to it. So if I go over here, there's going to be some uh, wolves in here that I can do. Uh, and this guy's got a quest marker over his head. I can come over here and I can talk to this fellow. All right, yeah, I'm going to take that quest. So now we've got to go and kill some wolves. And jump going over here. And you kind of get the idea. So it's a framework of all the particular systems that you need to create an RPG-style game. Um, and... Yeah, that's basically the idea. So let's look at how this is all implemented. By the way, if you do want to check this out, here is the main menu being implemented as well. Um, the uh, way you do this is actually by going to Blink once it's installed and using the scene loader. Launch it from the main menu. Otherwise, you'll run into some problems because there's some dependencies between them. So one of those things just to be aware of when running this, you can switch between the various different options available down here. Uh, you'll also notice here, scenes, we'll go to the... Um, uh, RPG Builder demo. All right, so this is the major scene. This is everything we just saw in action uh, included in it. Let me speed things up so we can kind of walk around the world. So you see you have a bunch of implementations. So you have like these um, spawn zones that uh, creatures can be spawned in. Uh, you, as you can see here, there are scripts, and it comes with all kinds of scripts that you would need for six, here you can see NPC spawning, and you can do endless spawning, count-based, or you can manually spawn things in the world. You see there's the radius within which they spawn. Uh, head on over here, you're going to see the um, the village that we were just visiting in. Uh, so let me just go find one of the people we talked to, for example. Oh, they're spawned. Never mind. 
Uh, here, for example, is the uh, crafting station we dealt with earlier on. And you can see crafting station, once again, is handled as a series of scripts. Now, you may be wondering, okay, how does all of this work together? So you see here, uh, you've got, we had all of those things. We have character stats, character creation, everything else all defined in here. How do you set all this stuff up? Well, that is all done via the RPG Builder. This is pretty much the heart of the configurability of this thing. So here you can see, this is the RPG Builder main menu. It's a, it's a standard window. We can dock it anywhere within Unity. And all of the logic of RPG Builder, all of the databases, all of the configuration, everything that you want to work with is available here. You've got things like skills, skill trees, and so on. Just click over here, and you can switch between the, the, all the various different options. So for example, I'm going to go into the world, and you see here under world, we've got a number of different options. So you've got quests defined here, and you can have various different, so we've got the get blue, get blue flowers quest. You see the details there, um, the UI presentation of it, the settings of it, uh, the items that you get out of it as a reward, requirements to doing it, objectives of doing it, uh, reward when you're done it, and you also can have a reward, a pick-based reward. So you can see that that is how you go about setting up quests. And the same thing, let's say we've got to do dialogue. So here we got dialogue. Um, we have a, a pick up novice weapons. Of course, we could create a new complete dialogue ourselves. So you see a little bit of details of it. And then we go graph here. I'm just going to open this guy up, and you're going to see the game engine also comes with a dialogue builder set up here. So what you've got is tree-based dialogue. So you can, so you can have conditionals based off different conversations. They will branch into each other. We could go ahead and create a new node off, and we could do a node here. And then you're going to see here, you say, okay, well, it's NPC, or if it's the player doing the talking at this point in time, and the message. Now, where the logic would come here is, so let's say all your base are belong to... Us. And then come down here, we can do conditionals on this one. So we can do requirements for this, add a requirement of, uh, it'll only talk to you if you are of a certain race. And I come down here and I can pick a race, so race of human. So you can see here, you can configure a ton of different options here. We can also add another requirement for this dialogue pop option to happen. So to have a skill level or to have killed an NPC or, or uh, to have completed a prior thing of dialogue, whatever. So you've got these really advanced dialogue trees in here with a lot of conditionals that you can build off of it. A very common uh, thing that you have to do in RPG systems. So you can see the kind of stuff that's embedded in here. We go on back here, we go to combat, you have a number of different combat abilities. So you can define your own. So for example, we got Fire Gust here, and they all have, um, so we can add special effects to things. We can add the tags to it. Visual effects can be added to it. So the Fireball has... Um, Activated on activate or completion on interrupted or whatever you can add an audio clip in to go with a special effect So this is how you would set up um, your uh, Your special effects for your spells and so on also their abilities are all going to be here so you can see uh, let's See so oh, we can also set up talent trees talent trees are automatic skill trees like you would see in Diablo and so on um, those are part of um, The class definitions which are available somewhere else So come back here go uh, for example we go uh, general here you can see skills you can have all kinds of so we have skills like mining and then you again you've got the details of that you can add it into talent trees again so go on back over here I should be able to find okay so you can create classes so here we've got three different classes to find so you can see how everything is really modular in approach so sorcerer for example you got some details of the sorcerer class uh, the talent trees the spell books available and so on. So you, you can set everything up however you wish. You also can set up loot tables for uh, a variety of different items in the world. And that's kind of, this is the uh, control interface for everything. So here you can see a number of different items in the world. So there is the item. You can add stats onto things. Uh, the abilities, you can add abilities to weapons. You can see there are a number of abilities to find. So come down here and you see under, okay. Why can't I pick that? All right, so here you can see a uh, number of different abilities are defined. They're all defined in different tables and so on. Uh, and then we're going to see that if we go back out of here, out of this tool, go back here, and where are the databases? I think it's under resources database. So here you can see all kinds of different databases for things. So for example, items, and you got, you know, all these variety of different things have been defined. And again, you can create all of these things. If you want to create a new item, you can create them all out of the RPG Builder tool. So this basically here, this is the heart blood of the relationship. So if you're creating a character quest or a skill or an item in the world or a conversation or um, 
so on and so forth, you could do them all here. The other thing that you can do is you can set up a regions in your world so you can have levels, different areas that you can move between. Um, and that's that's kind of the idea behind it. Now, on top of things, there is good documentation for it. There are a ton of videos out there. Uh, you do get this demo game to work from kind of walks you through how everything works together. Uh, and then again, he's done a number of uh, videos that will walk you through everything. I come back over here. We'll take a look. Here is your base documentation. It kind of walks you through. Uh, by the way, I can link this. You don't need to be uh, an owner or anything to get access to this. This is basically uh, just a web page that you can go and check out. So even if you don't purchase it, you can go and check how these things work. And you walk through. So basically, you want to create your own world, your own scene. This walks you how to create your own custom scenes. You want to bring in your own character model. It walks you through the character model. Or custom. By the way, there is a third-person action character controller built into here. It's got details on setting up abilities, special effects, creating NPCs. Uh, you know, So you've got kind of a reference of what the various different... Uh, properties of them are and then a video that actually walks you through the process of creating these things again your game world you can set it up into zones or areas uh, you've got things like mini map support uh, you've got things like uh, npc spawning uh, teleportation and so on and so forth so if you want to create your own rpg this has done a heck of a lot of the groundwork for you and like i said right now this bundle is, well, it's not, not a right now thing. I guess for the next six days, you can get this bundle for 25 bucks US, whereas the RPG Builder alone costs, uh, well, oh, let's see, like five, six times that much at least. Uh, my math is, is not working today. So, And by the way, at the same time, if you're looking to do uh, an RPG style game, that's kind of the theme of this. So you're also going to see the graphics packs that would work well with this are in here as well. So you've got things like um, Dark Fantasy Environment here, uh, medieval weapon pack, big castle kit, uh, fantasy sounds. Uh, we got fantasy characters, uh, fantasy another fantasy kit for creating an environment and medieval housing environment. So you've got a lot of the, um, you know, the building blocks you need at least to prototype your own game uh, with some pretty good quality assets. And then again, this RPG builder, as you saw, basically gives you all of the framework and the tooling to create your own uh, kit. And since they've done so many of these these um, setups for you, they've kind of oops, wrong window. Uh, they've set up so that y you can create skills and special effects and characters and classes and progression trees and inventory and quests and dialogues and so on, all using data. It saves it so you don't have to code. You only really have to code if you want to move beyond what they have created here. So the heart blood of it is here in this RPG uh, creator system. Uh, you've even got control over keys in keyboards, that, like the keyboard settings and the controller settings and such that are, are available to you uh, and provided for you. But all of your settings are in this app. All of the things that you might want to set up, if you want to create your own uh, combat moves or whatever, you basically just come on in here and create a new one. And um, you set a progression level and then automatically add it to the classes and then they have skill trees and so on and so forth. All of the functionality is in here uh, to create just about whatever you want without the requirement to do any coding unless you need to move beyond this. And of course, you do have all of the scripts that you are working with uh, in your project. That's like I close this down to see that. So you come down here, you take a look, uh, RPG Builder scripts. You've got a ton of different scripts available in here. So you've got the source to look at world logic. So if you've got crafting stations, for example, here is the code for handling crafting station. You want to extend it or change it or whatever. You have all of the code here. You've got a ton of code here for implementing things for you. You've got character, character controllers, so on. So you'll want to just modify the character controller. Uh, you can do so. Uh, so that is uh, RPG Builder. It's a massive toolkit for building RPG style games using the Unity game engine. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Also, uh, again, we got uh, six days remaining in this bundle. I'm trying to cover off the most requested things, and I think I've nailed most of them. So Odin, RPG Builder now, and Node Canvas are already covered. Octave 3D for sure is on the list. And I might be getting to the end there. So if there's anything else you really want to see, maybe this one, um, everything else is mostly just graphics kits uh, for the most part. So pretty straightforward. But if there's something else here that you really want to see, uh, let me know and hopefully I can cover it before, I'll cover it through the weekend. Maybe Bakery, but again, Bakery is apparently NVIDIA only. So that's a bit of an issue, but I may cover that one as well. Also, by the way, if you have no prior Unity experience, the Zenva courses could be a good pick for you too, because you get a ton of courses in here as well. That should walk you through everything you need to know. I've covered Zenva courses in the past on this channel. So that's it. Uh, and again, you got six days left. This bundle is 
it's pretty staggeringly amazing, to be honest. And every time I cover another asset in it, if you're a Unity developer, it is kind of a no-brainer. And even if you're not a Unity developer, you get two free games, or not free, but you get two games for 25 bucks, and then you get a lot of content that you can actually use outside of the Unity game engine. So these things, like these packs, the sounds, the graphics, that kind of stuff, can all be used in like Godot or Unreal Engine. So even then, there's value there. So let me know what you think. Anything else you really want to see covered other than Octave 3D, which I am going to cover, uh, let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Also, let me know what you think of RPG Builder. Uh, that's it. See you later. Goodbye.